We are getting ever so close, Jackie, to the MS Walk. That's right. We love focusing on great local things that are happening. And as you said, there's one happening just next week. Mm -hmm. Melissa Richardson is here to tell us all about the MS Walk. This is a big deal. Yes. Thank you for having me here this morning. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to be here and to share information about the walk. Tell everybody where and when. Okay. It's next Saturday, May 16th, and it's at Principal Park Stadium. Um, Check-in is between 8 and 9.30 mm -hmm. in the morning, and then um, you can just start walking once you're checked in. Um, some people have tents and set those up and um, decorate those and have big teams that come and walk. And others have just small groups that come, and they just, you know, start walking and go ahead and get, get started with their walk right away. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the, the walk is, you can either do 1.5 or 5 miles. Okay. And it goes through downtown and the river and Gray's Lake. And it's, it's a nice little scenic route. Wonderful. And there's some people here taking advantage of the, of the walkway here yes. next to the river. Mm -hmm. Now, you are an ambassador for this event. Why is this so important for you? Well, for me, it's important because I have MS. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis uh, four years ago, 2011. And so it's important that this walk, the money that's raised, the funds that are raised, are used for cutting edge research to hopefully cure the disease, that's our ultimate goal, mm -hmm. but to, you know, uh, find um, new medications mm -hmm. and um, just uh, ways that we can make the disease more, you know, I don't know how to say that, just not as difficult to live with, that kind of thing. This is an affliction of the of the insulation of the nerves, is that correct? Well, yeah, in a way. It's, it's a disease that the, the immune system, the person's immune system, attacks the substance, which is the myelin, mm. that surrounds the nerves and the nerves, nerve fibers in your brain. Okay, in And your brain. if you think of that as a wire with um, the plastic coating, Right. Okay, and so the immune system would attack that plastic coating and it gets worn off. You think of a wire like that and it gets frayed, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. And so that's kind of the good analogy or the picture you can get of what's going on in your brain. The immune system attacks it, causes a disruption because the wire nerve is no longer connected. Right. correctly it's frayed or it's completely disrupted and so your brain then can no longer send signals or sends interrupted signals to the rest of your body right so that's, that's where the problem comes in mm -hmm, that's and you where said the you were diagnosed in. four years ago mm -hmm. what was a, a clue that something wasn't right for you well for me um, my main um, issue was cognition, cognitive problems, which isn't that typical. Yeah, yeah that is not that, that typical. A lot of times it's like the extreme fatigue or um, problems with your eye. You can lose uh, eyes, I should say, because the optic nerve is part of your central nervous system. Sure. And so you might have lose some vision or go completely blind in one eye, usually, or maybe both. Um, maybe lose sensation in your legs or arms, you know, uh, that sort of thing. It's probably more common, but mine was cognition. Um, I worked as an education consultant for Heartland Area Education Agency. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I had a job where I went out and worked with teachers and trained teachers, and I was starting to uh, say the wrong words and not be able to come up with words, and all of a sudden I was like, oh, what? <laughs> what's going on here and so I went to my doctor and she actually thought I had a brain tumor possibly oh, because wow. that kind of fit with you know <clears> what, was right. what might happen with the brain tumor but we did the MRI and then it showed the brain in my brain the uh, they call they're called lesions is what they call them in the brain where those spots are that are frayed or broken and everybody's different right with MS. yes everybody presents differently it's very individual of how you know you feel how the different kinds of um, symptoms that you have and whether they come and go, stay all the time, that sort of thing, yeah. Is there anything coming down the pipe, cure-wise, uh, medicine-wise? Well, um, one of the big ones is stem cell research. Okay. Of course, in Europe, you know, that's really moving, moving, and they're doing uh, the research with that and the studies. It hasn't, it's, it's somewhat here in the U.S., but we're always behind Europe. Uh, mm. with that so that's a big one um, another one is um, 
they're trying to come up with, and I don't know what it even is, but they're trying to come up with a way to repair that myelin sheath. Mm -hmm. In the past, we were always just kind of, we call them disease-modifying drugs to help us, you know, just hopefully um, slow down the progress of the disease, uh, make it not uh, relapse has not happened so often, mm -hmm. but um, now one of the things they're looking at that's new is, okay, how might we repair this damage that's been done? That's a right. different way of looking at mm -hmm. it, totally, right. isn't it? Mm -hmm. It is. That's you exciting. need electrical tape, basically, right? You yeah. need something to uh, yeah. cover up those. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Can we get something to repair that, regrow, whatever it is, you right. know? Mm -hmm. But of course, for that progress to happen, they need funding to make sure we That's can correct. find something like that uh, to work. So remind everybody how we here locally can help out in our own small way. Well, you can um, go to or come to the walk, sign up for the walk on May 16th at Principal Park uh, Stadium. And there's no registration fee. Um, you can just come and uh, sign up and do the walk, and hopefully we would love to have you um, raise money from your friends and family to donate so that we can find a cure for MS. There you go. All right, well, thank you very much. Next weekend. Yeah, thank, thank you for you. all the information. Thank you. A wonderful ambassador. Thank you for having well me done. here. Thanks. It is 920.